Good evening guys, I'm Jay Sterling of Sterling Ascots and I want to welcome you to the sewing room. Today I want to show you a couple ways on how to tie an ascot. Uh, in Europe they call it a cravat. Uh, I learned that uh, when I went over there this past summer. And uh, basically I have a silk one here and I have a microfiber. I just want to show you different ways on how I prefer to tie the silk and how I prefer to tie the microfiber. So we're going to start with the silk. I picked this one up over on Berwick Street in England. Um, I actually picked it up in fabric form. Uh, they sell it by the meter over there. Um, and I, I think I picked up a couple meters of this fabric and uh, brought it back here um, and made it into a sample. Hopefully we're going to produce more of these and get these out um, and put them up on the website uh, sterlingascots.com. So let's, let's begin on how to tie it. We're going to start off by taking the left hand and pulling it a little further down than the right. And what's going to happen here is this is for the silk. And the reason why I'm going to tie it this way is so that, you know, the ascot stays in place throughout the duration of, you know, your event or, you know, your day, night, whatever the occasion may be. Now, people don't realize this, but the silk tends to slip down the neck uh, depending on how you tie it. So this way, I'm going to show you how to tie the silk. It's going to basically uh, ensure the fact that it'll be around your neck for you know the majority of the night you may have to adjust it maybe once or twice you know but for the most part it's gonna it's gonna do you good so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go left over right once and we're gonna go left over right again and then we're gonna bring it underneath through the hole and over Give it a little tug, tighten it up, tighten it up, and we're going to simply just stretch it out right there and tuck it into the shirt. Now, naturally, when you tie it twice, uh, it's going to be a little shorter than maybe tying it once, uh, and you know, depending on how you like to button up, some people prefer one button, some people prefer two buttons. I prefer two buttons because uh, I have a beard, so naturally, if I do one button. You know, the ascot, or in this case, like I said, got this from Europe, the cravat won't show. So, but basically that's how you tie it uh, for the silk, two times, not one. Now I'm going to move to the microfiber, which is my personal favorite, uh, because it doesn't fall like the silk does. The microfiber tends to stick together a little more to each other. As a result, it stays in place uh, for the majority of the night. So we're going to go ahead with these. You're not going to have to uh, double it up twice. Um, and the reason why you're not going to have to do that is because it's going to stick together. So one time over should be fine. So you don't have to pull this side down lower than this side or anything like that. And it's fine. Have it even. And this is the ruby red reversible um, with the checker red uh, pattern. So, and you can find this on stoneascots.com as well. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do left over right one time. Bring it underneath. Tighten it. And we're just going to pull it to the side, dress it correctly. And then we're going to put it in the shirt. Very, very, very simple. Um, and like I said, microfiber naturally sticks to each other. And it's going to stay in place basically for most of the night without the use of any pins or anything like that. Um, now, naturally, I would use a pin. Sometimes you don't have to use a pin, you know, however you feel comfortable. Um, me, I like to do two buttons, like I said before, um, and sometimes three. Um, so in this case, I have the vest on. I will go three sometimes in a vest, um, but two definitely with suit jacket.